A question that many of us wonder at one time or another, will we age like our parents? Well, the answer to never-ending youth could be closer than you think. Joining us is one of the world leaders in anti-aging and celebrity plastic surgeon, Dr. Vincent Jim Papa. Thanks for joining us, Doctor. It's been my pleasure. Well, firstly, how important are genetics to the way that we age? Can we escape this DNA destiny, as it were? Well, you see, past medical opinion was that um, basically what your genes, what your parents' genes were, you would be getting. The new opinion is really genes account for approximately 30% of our potential for being well or how we age. So that leaves 70% uh, basically in our, our power to control our environment, our lifestyle, to really make the difference. We rely on a lot of things to stave off aging, creams, vitamins, healthy living, all encompass it. But can we do anything to look after our DNA? Well, I think the most important thing we've learned at both the research level and clinical level is, number one, is to prevent damage to our DNA, and number two, is to help DNA repair itself. Because DNA is really the blueprint inside each one of the hundred trillion cells of our body that dictate our potential for health and how we age. You're involved in the cutting edge of looking at anti-aging techniques. What are some of the top processes that are helping to stave off aging? Well, I think some of the most important things to look at are uh, stem cells. Now, in our body, there's two types of general groups of cells, our body cells and our stem cells. It's our stem cells that really create the new cells that keep our body healthy and maintain our health and how well we look and age. So those stem cells produce things called growth factors. And growth factors now we know are really the secret to keeping our body healthy at all levels and how we look, how we age, and particularly our skin. And some of the most recent advances in the use of what was laboratory information is now coming out to the public in the form of both skin care and um, oral supplements. And particularly um, the new Luminesce product line that was, has come out with topical skincare using growth factors that actually allow our body to help heal itself or restore itself at the, at the level of skin wrinkles and, and aging itself. Sounds extraordinary. And another technique that's being explored is organ replacement. It sounds fairly yeah. extreme to prevent getting old. How does that work? Well, you know, organ replacement uh, is a whole other type of um, area where we're starting to use the potential of stem cells. Rather than replacing an organ, using these stem cells to regenerate the organ that maybe is failing, particularly our brain, our mind, our heart. Stem cells are being used, in our skin for instance, stem cells are being used as a therapeutic mode to regrow new heart muscle, to restore your memory, and particularly on the surface of our body, the largest organ in our body is our skin. So it's being used there to help not just keep us looking young, but healthy. And finally, we were talking about cryogenics yes. earlier. Yeah. Do you see a time where we might live, not forever, but perhaps for a very extended time, yeah. and why would we want to? Well, you know, it's interesting because uh, cryogenics has been something we've known about for uh, decades. In essence, where are we doing that? What we're doing now is collecting your stem cells and freezing them instead of your whole body. And so by doing that, we've frozen an essential part of you in time that can be used any time the rest of your life for, uh, to maintain your health, to restore your heart, your lungs, your kidneys, your skin, cosmetically. The real thing here is there's no need to freeze your whole body if you can store that essential component of you that is really the regenerative center of, of wellness and health. Mm, interesting research. Doctor, thanks for coming in this morning. My pleasure. So Sarah, some fascinating ways to stay young. <laughs> thanks, Deb. Well